Hey guys, Abby Geek here. Time for another video today. And today I thought I'd do a video on something that is kind of long overdue. It's a video on a monitor that I purchased uh, a couple of months back. Um, I posted a video on the unboxing of that monitor and just me kind of setting it up. And that's the one you actually see back here. Um, that's the LG E2242T. It's a nice monitor, I really like it, I've enjoyed it so far, but um, I'll get to that sort of short review section at the end. Uh, first, I just kind of wanted to do a Q&A kind of thing. So there's a lot of questions on that particular video, and I thought that maybe just going through maybe like four or five of these questions would be something beneficial to everyone that's watching now this video and kind of my view or opinion on the monitor itself. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. So I got my iPad here for my notes. So the first question is from Gaming with Galley. And by the way, these aren't in any from any particular order that were on the comments of the video itself. Uh, there's just a couple of questions that I pulled off the, the comment section and threw them on here. So anyways, back to the questions. So Gaming with Galley asks, does the monitor have any speakers? So like any built-in speakers or built-in audio into the monitor itself? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, it's just a monitor. That's all it does. It provides nothing more and nothing less. That's its sole function. Um, some monitors do have built-in speakers. I would still say even with that, even though there's built-in speakers into particular different monitors, the sound quality I'm assuming wouldn't be that great because that's not really the focus of the monitor itself. It's more of an additional add-on. So if you're looking for you know, great sound along with the monitor, I would say just get them separate. Just get your uh, monitor that you want and get a pair of speakers, maybe possibly with a subwoofer. Um, there's some pretty good sets by Logitech that are inexpensive. I mean, they work relatively well. They're not, they're not the greatest audio, but they work better than probably what's going to be built onto a monitor. So anyways, next question. All right, so this question was asked by the Stick Boy 234 and Ravenwood 509. Does it come with a DVI cable? Um, if you did see my video, which you probably did because you commented on it, um, on the video itself, no, there's no DVI cable. There's just a VGA cable that comes with the monitor and packaged inside, but no DVI. You'd have to go and buy that separate. You could buy an adapter that goes from VGA to DVI. Um, that's actually probably what I have right now hooked up. I can't remember, but I think that's what I have hooked up to it at this very moment. So that would be your best bet. It's just either to buy an adapter, which you can use with any VGA cable at that point, or just buy a DVI cable. So that's completely up to you. Uh, but anyways, yeah, sorry guys, no DVI cable. Uh, this question was asked by NHS2008NC. Uh, his comment was, I've heard the viewing angles are rather poor on this thing, so it's like kind of a question mark at the end, is this true or not? The view angles on the monitor itself? No, they're not poor. I mean, I've seen the, their comment that was in the section about the, the just tilting his head and the colors are washed out and everything else. No, that's not the case. The viewing angles are actually really great. Um, across from me, across from my desk, because um, my monitor is kind of angled, it's not going to be straight on to across my desk, but across my desk normally my wife will sit over there and she'll watch, sometimes she'll watch the videos that I play on the monitor and she has no problem seeing, um, you know, between from the contrast there's no loss in color, there's no loss in picture, It's it works perfectly great for that. So. No, the view angles are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, those are the questions. Thanks again for asking the questions on the comment section. I really appreciate it. And sorry I don't always get to them really quick, but I've been kind of busy. I've moved to a new house. I've been sick for like a little bit more than two weeks. Um, to kind of give you a short update, my grandma's been really sick, so it's just a lot of stuff going on with that. But I don't want to get too much into my personal life as of right now, but. Anyways, there's just a lot going on personally, so. But let me go ahead and uh, give my review on the monitor itself. All right, so there's a couple of things I want to talk about on the monitor. Uh, I mean, really, what it comes down to is, I broke it down to a couple of different sections, like the viewing angle, the quality, colors, contrast, and how dark are the blacks. Initially, I was going to go do that, but you know what, thinking about it, it's just you know, some practical information. Does it really work? Does it do the job? Does it provide good enough color for what you're paying for. Um, obviously this is not like a $235 monitor, it's not the highest end monitor. It was a monitor that 
I thought would be perfect for my use because I just wanted a dual monitor but still provided decent color, decent contrast, decent viewing angles and, the, and decent blacks. I need all of that to be just good. Not the best but good. Um, this monitor, the LG uh, E2242T has met those standards completely for me. I mean, I even just before recording this video, I was watching a couple of uh, movies on the monitor itself, and the colors are actually really, really great compared to my other monitor here. It's also an LG monitor. It's a Flatron E2050T. Um, so the colors are a lot better than compared to that monitor. Um, so I'm really, really happy with this particular monitor. I've had no issues with it, I've had no problem setting it up, it was really easy to set up. The, as far as the settings, I just let the auto adjust do the settings itself, I haven't messed with it at all, because um, I found it to be more than adequate. It's perfectly fine for me with for my web design or looking at videos and editing. Um, obviously I'm not looking, I'm not being super minded, I'm not a graphic artist in a sense, I'm not there, you know, it has to be this particular hexadecimal color and it looks a little bit more like this color. No, I'm not doing things like that, so it, that doesn't really matter for me. Um, but just watching YouTube videos, doing my video editing for these videos, um, working on my, my site, working on other sites, it's more than adequate for that and I really have enjoyed this monitor a lot. So anyways guys, uh, that was my kind of thoughts and opinion review on the monitor itself. If you have any other questions, feel free to just leave them in the comments section. I am reading the comments, so don't think I'm not. Uh, that's exactly why I posted this video, to address some of those comments and questions uh, regarding the monitor, because I see that there's a lot of interest in it. So if you have any other questions at all about the monitor or about anything else at all, uh, just leave me in the comments section below or send me a, a tweet on at AvidGeek. You can check out my site at AvidGeek.com. Um, you can go ahead and send me an email, avidgeek at gmail.com. So, however you want to contact me, just send me an email, tweet me, check out my site, leave a comment on the site, leave a comment on the video, and I'll definitely check that out. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely a good monitor. Two thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to do that. I really appreciate it when people do that. It means a lot to me. Uh, so thanks guys, and I will be working on some more videos uh, relatively soon. Right now it's the Thanksgiving holiday week, so we'll see what I'm able to crank out. Alright guys, so I'll talk to you later, and I will catch you on the other side. Peace out.